All right, welcome back to the bus build. So I have the floor is pretty much removed still. I think I did that like last video or I don't know which video I had. But anyways, I have vinyl flooring now. Uh, and by vinyl flooring, I mean one vinyl floor. <laughs> and I got the ventilation and then wood. There's none of this is screwed in. In fact, if I stand on it, I'm pretty sure my head reaches the roof. I mean, it's not a big deal. Because I need, well, it is a big deal, but <laughs> um, I'm planning to remove this roof. Um, as you might be able to tell, I've gotten rid of almost all the screws. Like there's like one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Anyways, I got rid of most of these screws. I got rid of this, this casing as well. Um, so it looks like there's probably just like some wood under there. So I'm just going to probably just yank down the roof. What's probably left for me to yank it down is um, I'm thinking maybe this. It's probably trapped under this like a uh, speaker box. I'll probably need to remove that. Um, oh geez, I don't know about what I'm gonna do with this air conditioning unit. It might be trapped under there as well, in which case I'll probably have to cut it out, which is I'm fine with that. I'm fine with using a little bit of saw I saw because this is, this is probably some plywood, fancily colored. But anyways, what's probably left is those back things right there. I forgot it. my, um, I guess, what is it, my fire alarm. I gotta get that as well. Probably need a carbon monoxide sensor as well, so I don't die if I use propane. And then this thing right here. So I'm going to start unscrewing, and hopefully I will be able to build enough height so that I can stand um, with an additional layer of plywood, I guess, on that. I'm not choosing to take out these floors because they're fine, there's no mold in, well, there's. If there is mold, it's not much. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Don't forget to triple click that like button for YouTube algorithm or my stripper pole that I removed will have to be put back in and nobody wants that. I mean, actually everyone wants that. So we'll, we'll do it anyways, because maybe uh, I'll just give away my stripper pole. <laughs> yeah, probably not though. Look at all those screws. Oh my, I thought I was done. Like the roof, like, look, it's basically floating. Let me get a better perspective. But the roof, there's not much left. I cut out um, all the screws. What is going on up there? There's, um, and then there's two over here. I can't, uh, can't seem to get out. I think they're like, I broke the screws a little bit as usual, but, but um, it's almost out, I want to say. And then I realized, oh look! Like, oh yeah, this is, this is basically out. And then I realized, why is, what's, what's left to give? And then, um, I peeled behind these little, uh, these little white things on the walls. And I saw... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and I'm doing this in Florida. <laughs> so it definitely gets hot. So maybe I'll, I'll wait for the, the sun to go down. Um, cause I, like my fan doesn't even work anymore cause I removed the battery. Oh, I also removed this, which was interesting. Uh, I guess I'll have to get this back on eventually. The, what is this, the safety vent? I guess it still works. There's just no trim around it, which is completely fine by me. Um, but yeah, I guess I have to remove the lot of 50 million screws. I'll take a break though. <laughs> All right, it is a new day in the bus. The roof is almost down. Uh, my goal for today is literally, I can just pull it down basically. Well, I don't want to do that because I have to do stuff under it. Like, get rid of all these screw screws. This morning I like pre-screwed them because a lot of them will get stuck if I don't do that. Um, so hopefully today I can get the roof down and maybe, hopefully maybe, I can start 
finally framing the flooring because I really need to get this floor again. It just looks disgusting. And also rained here. I'm not sure you can see it. Let me give you a zoom in. Ooh, rain droplets on the ground because last night I left this thing open and yeah, that, that'll do it. Even though I did caulk my uh, wheelchair lift, um, that's just oil. <laughs> or that's mostly oil and water, I guess, because my friend left me their oil um, drain thing. But yeah, I hopefully am going to get this roof down. Hopefully I can just like yank it off after getting all these screws off and hopefully I don't have to take too much of that stuff over there down because I know that might be a pain. But we'll see. I kind of want to keep the speakers I mean, like for the surround sound effect. That sounds pretty cool. I'm going to start working on it now. All right, so I did not end up taking and getting rid of this little speaker box. I probably will get rid of this stop and check thing that is remnants of the bus. I think this is nice. You know, it's, you know, it's like right under my bed. So if I hit my head in this, it's not that bad. If I hit my head in this, it'll probably be a little bit more painful, which I have done before many times because my bed was like right here, pretty much like right here. So, <laughs> eh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna take this down, even though like it's super mega dusty, like look at my arms. Um, well, I don't know. I guess you don't really look at my arms that much, but they're definitely more dusty than um, needed. But I think, uh, I think I should be good to take this roof down now, unless this air conditioning unit is blocking it, which it feels like it is, um, but we'll see. I finally downsized my bus. So this is the, the new living space we're gonna have here. We've taken down the roof partially, but I only do things partially part the way the way. So I think I'll just stop here and just start living in this like how it is. Step right up to my ceiling breaking crew. No one is gonna break a ceiling like I'm going to do. Cause it's the best way to break a ceiling. Just step, step one, get the ceiling mostly down. And then we just jump on it. Woo! Not try this at home, lads and ladettes. This might be dangerous. <laughs> Only a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a lot, actually. flip-flops either as you might slip and break all of your toes at the same time or maybe some of them who knows so after removing those back two panels there were some additional screws back there I removed those and then I realized there's a screw like behind the air, air conditioning unit and then there's also like bolts like that's holding the air conditioning unit up so the only way really to get it out is or the fully out is to remove the air conditioning unit and I wasn't planning to do that initially because it seems like a lot of work since there's a lot of wires, a lot of pipes. Um, yeah, it just seems like too much work for what I had in mind here. So I think I'm just going to take a buzz saw to the edge of this or some kind of saw. And then, because it's really thin wood, the stuff, like I can basically crack it, but I, uh, I couldn't crack it well enough. It's, just, it's, it's such an, a big piece right now to crack it like where I want to. So I, I think I will need to take a buzz saw to this. So that's what I plan to do, hopefully. If I don't buzz saw all my fingers off. And I cut out the roof and all my fingers fell off. So that's the end of this video. So make sure to <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already and like the video if you have not already. And I'll talk to you later when I my fingers heal. Just kidding. Well, my wrist did get hurt.